Okay, so now we're at this step where we're able to export the models. Exporting parts from Blue Sky Plan is a paid functionality. The way that you're able to export is by purchasing export credits. The first time that you install the software, it will come with two free export credits. Now, if you're exporting items such as surgical guides, for example, each surgical guide or each denture export will, will cost one export credit. For orthodontics, each draw that you export, irrelevant to the number of models or irrelevant to the number of aligners, each draw that you export is only half of an export credit. So if you have export credits on your computer, then you'll see the export button. It will show you how many exports are remaining. And if you don't have export credits on your computer, then the software will prompt you to purchase exports before proceeding. The fastest way of purchasing exports is by going to File, Purchase STL Exports. You have a drop-down menu for the number of exports that you want to purchase. The larger the package purchased at the time, the cheaper the per export cost is. So our smallest package is six exports, which is a total of $125, around, 10, around $20 per export, and ortho export is half of that, so that would be around $10 per export of a jaw, again, irrelevant to the number of models or aligners. The larger the package you buy, the cheaper the export credit gets. The cheapest package puts the export at $5 for an ortho jaw export. So if you don't have exports on your computer, select the package size from the dropdown, click Buy, and you're able to purchase via credit card or via PayPal. Once the purchase is complete, your computer will update automatically and immediately with your new export credits. Before exporting the models, it is important to do two things. Number one, it's important to add label text, which will either have the patient's name or a unique identifier, but it will also include the step number. So when the models are printed, you'll be able to identify which model is which and of course the correct order. The second thing it's important to do is to add a base for vertical printing. So let's take a look at these two things. So first of all, we have our label text. If you enter a unique identifier at the beginning of the process, it shows up here. We could click the show label checkbox and we see the text showing up on the screen. Now what we want to do is position the text with the number, the number is this step number, in the location on a single model of where we would like it to be placed. Once we have the proper positioning, we could choose if we would like to emboss or engrave. Okay, so we're able to zoom in and out using our right, right mouse button, we're able to rotate using our left mouse button, and as usual, grab holding down the wheel of our mouse. So once we have the text placed properly, we could choose emboss or engrave. Engrave is often recommended as if it's small text, it might be problematic when it comes out of the printer, it might not be legible when it comes out of the printer. So once we position everything, we could click the apply button. The message that comes up on the screen is just telling us that the models are going to be printed hollow. So Nothing should be embossed or engraved on the base or bottom of the model. So now the software is going to go model by model and it's automatically going to apply the text and the numbering as we see happening on the screen. So once that's completed, the second thing we want to do is to add a base for vertical printing. This will allow us to print the models standing up on the print bed, printing more models in a single print run. Adding a base is simple, right click and choose add platform. We now have the platform added and we could use the widget to fine tune the sizing or the positioning. So we want to make sure it doesn't protrude from either side. We want to make sure that there's enough of a contact 
between the model and the platform. We can make the platform wider just by grabbing the dot and dragging it. And we could increase the intersection slightly by using the arrow and increasing the intersection. If we want to rotate the platform, that could be done as well. Some people prefer to print using an angled platform. Once we are done with the positioning, we also have the capability of separating the platform. So instead of one continuous platform, you actually have two platforms. This could further save on printing material and reduce the printing time. We could go ahead and add a platform to the maxilla the same way. And again, fine tune the positioning. And if we like, we could go ahead and separate the platform. Once we've embossed or engraved the label and the model number on both models, and once we've added the platforms to both models, we could go ahead and click on export. Here again, the software is reminding us that before the export to add the platform for printing and to add the model number and the patient name or unique identifier to the models. If we've done so, we just click yes, proceed to export or no, not yet, we'll cancel and allow us to go ahead and do that. Or if we don't want to get this message anymore, we just click the don't show again checkbox and yes, proceed to export. The software asks us where we want to save the export. We have the shortcut buttons on the top. We could go ahead and click on desktop. And for example, I want to put it into a new folder. So I'm going to click new folder. And I'll give the folder a name just by typing and then clicking OK. Now we should repeat the export for the mandible. So we should go ahead and click on mandible. Click export. Select the desired folder and then click OK. Okay, so the software exported all of our different models. And if we go ahead and open one of them up, we could see the model. We could see that it has the platform for vertical printing. We could see that the model is printed hollow. This is actually an option in properties that can be turned off by default if you like, but by default, the models are printed hollow to save on print material and print time. And if we open one of the mandible models where we emboss the text, we could see how the text appears engraved into the model. The last functionality that I want to point out in the orthodontics panel is the option to create a report. Clicking the create report button will automatically export a PDF file where you could save onto your computer that contains information regarding the case and regarding the step-by-step -step tooth movements at each stage.